hey, look, don't adjust your sets. You're not actually seeing double, I know it's crazy. What you are seeing is one devastatingly handsome outdoor adventure type bloke, and also Lockie from Survivor and The Bachelor. Sorry, mate. How are you going? Yeah, good, man. I mean, I've got the rig of my dreams. Like, I've been traveling around Australia just having the time of my life, and I'm doing it with the girl of my dreams. For the viewers, maybe we'll just rewind back a little bit and talk about how the car came about. So, we started talking right in the thick of COVID in 2020. You had uh, just finished filming The Bachelor. Yeah. You and Arena had finished filming, and you guys had plans to do some big travels around Australia. Nissan chucked you guys the keys to this awesome Navara, and obviously it was pretty damn good, but we thought we could make it a bit better. Definitely, yeah, well, finished The Bachelor, and I thought I wanted to spend some time with Ed Ennis, so I thought we'd hit the road and travel around, and Kings are the best on best in the business. So, came to you guys, and you, you set me up with pretty much everything I need. Probably one of my favorite memories about this whole thing was just hanging out for a couple of days in the shed and building this all ourselves. We just lobbed in, chucked a few tools at it, a few parts at it, so we had Khan getting stuck into all the 12-volt stuff. So we've done some pretty cool stuff 12-volt-wise here. Um, how's it all been going for you? This, you can live off-grid like for ages and it, it's just perfect. I travel with drones and laptops and e-bikes and just having the power there ready to go to charge up everything anywhere I am, it's just perfect. Out of everything, we use the fridge the most. Like, it's always got beers, beers are cold, ice. It, having ice on the road is amazing because we drink either gin and tonics or Captain Morgan and rum, like it's, having ice is everything. Bit of a game changer. It right? is a game changing. The one thing I really like is the Grand Tour and the racks. If we had the normal folding one out, we wouldn't be able to have the kayak or the bikes or pretty much everything. But having the racks on top is a game changer. It just means we can fit a lot more onto the car. Even just that space there, um, I fit everything because we, when we travel, we travel with day bags here for all the clothes. So that's what sits in here. Having a full platform here is a game changer and this just slides straight out. And I'd like to lay a little bit of claim to uh, my little bit of, I wouldn't call it brilliance, I'd call it slightly above mediocre. <laughs> Metal fabrication skills and making the yes, little frame. Yeah, well that's what we were doing. We were just there in the shed and we're like, what can we do? Fit everything in and just, put everything on there, literally everything. So obviously apart from doing up the ute, you've got a couple of our um, adventure bits of gear. You guys have got the kayaks and the paddle boards. How have you been finding those? The kayak is literally the comfiest thing. I, like I raced kayaks and did some adventure races. And most kayaks can be pretty uncomfy. You can sit on that all day like, and it goes anywhere. Adena sits in the kayak, I'm on the paddle board and we do that all day. And um, where have you been in it so far? Uh, we've taken the rig around up to Lancelin on the beaches there, down south, down to Bluff Knoll, Albany, Bustleton. Um, then we put the trailer on, took it across South Australia, down through Tasmania, took it on some pretty good tracks down in Tassie as well. Imagine. So you've been on the road for a good couple of months now. How are you finding it all? Have you got anything that you would like to change? Or if you had your time again, would you change anything? It's hard to say. I don't think I would. Like, I've got everything on there. So if I want to change it, it's super easy just to change it myself. But it's, it's pretty much perfect. Favourite bit of fall driving you've done in it so far? Probably we did the Mount McCall track in Tasmania. It's just like an old hole road and it's, you go right to the river and that was amazing. Just views and stunning but just the whole trip. Me and Eden are the happiest we are when we're just in it travelling. And yeah, I guess that's, that's kings to a T. That's all. It's just all about getting out there and seeing Australia, not spending the earth. Um, but still having all the gear that you need, I guess. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's, Kings has just been perfect. Like even when I needed something, I just drop into a Kings, chuck it in and it's ready to go. Like if you need something, drop into a Kings store, grab it and you're, you can hit the road that day. You guys kicked off and you only had the youth, but when you guys kicked off, we had just launched the MT1 camper trailer and um, you're towing one around Australia now. Yeah, I mean, when we were doing this, I saw in the background, I saw the trailer and I was like, hold on. I need me one of those because I travel with a lot of gear and we were traveling with a crew so we need somewhere for our crew to sleep and the trailer, it was perfect. So what's the plans next mate? Where are you guys off to next? We are heading up the east coast. We're going to go up through Cairns, then NT, back through WA but we're going to do that about three months so yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting. Mate, thank you very much. Really appreciate your time, Lockie. Not a problem. Great to see you mate and um, many happy travels mate. Too easy. Let's hit the road. Woohoo! What a dead set rig. I reckon my favorite part about the entire thing is it proves you can build something that amazing at home in your shed or your driveway with no special tools, just the willingness to give it a go. 
and don't go anywhere because right here we've got Lockie and I Renner's review on the entire rig, how it's performing after 20,000 kilometers around Australia.